As a geologist, I've spent a large part of my life looking down microscopes at minerals and rocks. Uh, I recently bought an adapter for my microscope from Van Key and was sufficiently impressed that I thought I would give it a review on YouTube. These are the three adapters sold by Van Key that allows you to attach your phone to optical instruments like binoculars, telescopes, microscopes. I'm going to show you uh, how it's done and uh, my recommendations at the end in terms of what I think are the best devices to use this on. Essentially three sizes. Uh, there's a plastic one that's called the TNP09, not very intuitively named. It is good for eyepieces from 22 to 44 millimeters in size. This part stretches to accommodate a cell phone and it's got a little thread on the back here as they all do for attaching this to a tripod. There's a screw on the back, which is used to, once the phone is in, to adjust the alignment of the phone camera to the eyepiece center point. That'll vary from phone to phone, and whether your phone has one lens or multiple lenses, like a telephoto. And the smallest size one, the, even though it's plastic, it comes with a little extra piece here, which allows it to accommodate even smaller size eyepieces. The next size up is the Blue Sky V1 and it's different in that it's made of metal. The size is almost the same, but it's made of metal, and it's much more solid and robust, and it would handle from 25 to 47 millimeters, so slightly larger size eyepieces. The largest size is the Blue Sky V1L, stars for large, I suppose, and it handles up to 62 millimeter size eyepieces, which is pretty large. Maybe that's a telescope that you have, or a, a large eye cup. Uh, on a set of binoculars or a spotting scope for bird watching. The cell phone holder itself has got a screw adjustment, it's cushioned and is very secure. When you actually put it on the optical device, you need to slide it back and forth a little bit so that the lens of the iPhone is sitting roughly where your eyeball would be on the uh, where it comes through the optical point and there's a little bit of fussing around to make that happen but this is just a little kids one here and i'll show you later how that works but this one actually fits pretty nicely with the plastic adapter uh, and the first size of the metal one as well so this is a uh, cation dioptric 20 times scope it does not have a tripod mount which is surprising disappointing russian made but it does suit either one of these quite well. That's a, a nice snug fit. Very difficult to hand hold these. I'll show that in a second. But what you could do is attach this part here to a tripod, screw that into a tripod. And then once that phone is set up and adjusted, you could use it on that tripod. This lighthouse is barely visible in the distance. So I've just taken that little handheld, attached it to the van key, and used the tripod thread that's on the phone holder. So I wouldn't put a lot of torque on that eyepiece, but for occasional use, I think it's strong enough. And I can maybe use the zoom on the phone here. Zoom in a little bit. And we'll see how that image looks in the video. So I've taken this child's uh, little telescope, because I don't have a really big one, and I've attached the small plastic van key adapter. And like uh, telescopes, they invert the image. It does a pretty good job for crappy plastic optics. It's not that bad. But you definitely need a tripod. Binoculars come in many sizes and qualities, from large image stabilized ones to fairly inexpensive plastic pocket size. And even though the eyepiece size changes quite a bit between them, the mid-sized uh, Van Key adapter fits them all. So let's compare a 20 times high quality optical zoom camera to those images that we're getting off of a binocular and a cell phone. We'll start by putting the adapter and my cell phone on the cheapest, smallest, uh, an optically porous set of binoculars that you might have handy on a little trip. So this is the big limitation. It's so hard to hold binoculars steady and that video image is almost impossible to use. Keeping the image properly framed, be it landscape or portrait, is also fairly challenging. 
This time we'll use the screw mount on the base of these binoculars to firmly attach them to a tripod. In this case, the Canon 18x50 optics and stable image beats out the long zoom on the camera. So this is really where I think this thing works. Anything from a child's toy microscope to a single eyepiece monocular microscope to a stereo binocular microscope, all of these work great with this adapter. The small toy microscope will need the smallest plastic one with the adapter, but it will also fit, as well as the Blue Sky V1, uh, both the intermediate size and the binocular microscope. You could always just wrap a bit of um, foam or something around the eyepiece as well, and then that would work with that. Lining up the cell phone camera with the eyepiece is a little fussy the first time, but once you do it, it's fairly straightforward. Pretty garbage picture, but you get the idea. Let's put it on a real microscope this time. It's a bit of an antique, but the optics are superb. Here we're looking at about 250 times magnification, and viewing this on the cell phone is so easy on the eyes and convenient and showing it to somebody else. So let's put this on a binocular microscope now and have a look. Just the um, image on the screen with the camera, I can, I can set the exposure higher and lower based on the camera um, settings itself which is pretty nice. And if I want to get a uh, closer look, I'll zoom in on it. Focus. And there's the individual fibers of the paper wasp's nest. So really nice, really great, great way to get close-up macro picture. So who needs one of these? Well, they're not much money. So if you're into bird watching and you have a spotting scope or you're into astronomy with telescopes and you have a tripod, well, I think this is a great basic accessory. If you have binoculars, preferably image stabilized or with a tripod screw mount, they're also good, not handheld. Any good microscope, binocular, stereo, please, not a crappy little kid's one. Spend the money on a nice secondhand one. Who's going to use it? Well, encouraging young scientists is fantastic. Capturing their world around them in a detailed macro way. If you're into nature yourself or gardening or you want to explore the small world of macro photography, it's a great cheap way of doing it. If you're also into collecting fabric, stamps, coins, all kinds of small things that you'd like to see the details. It's a cheap little accessory. It really does open up a nice world of the small and uses your cell phone. Thanks for watching. Please click like.